Well, hey guys, it's Rusty Glove Box here, and what we're gonna do is try to achieve the impossible. We're uh, gonna make gold out of uh, lead, you know, and uh, which they said couldn't be done. But anyway, if you bought new golf cart batteries before, I don't think they got lead in them. I think they got gold in them. So anyway, that's what uh, spurred this little project. I'm gonna try to recycle some batteries. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, Epsom salt. I've, I've done this before and I've kind of had, you know, some moderate success on it, so I wanted to try it again on this set of batteries. A Little bit of safety precaution. Eye protection. Be sure and use your eye protection. Uh, you're messing with batteries here. And uh, the process that I'm gonna be describing, uh, it's gonna generate some gas, so you do need to be cautious about that. Don't be smoking, don't be using a cutting torch. Be sure and do this outside where you got good ventilation. Uh, the batteries could explode, I'll tell you. But I haven't had that experience, but just want to get you a full understanding of what could happen. But anyway, I'll take you kind of through the steps of what I was doing uh, on this, and uh, let's see how it goes. Well, it's been raining the last couple of days. The only thing that I've really gotten done this weekend is I mowed before it rained, got the yard mowed and the weed eater out, uh, and then all of a sudden it started raining, so what I didn't get done out there, it's going to have to wait till later. Well, I was going to show you how I did it. I mean, it's no big deal. Uh, what I did right here, being that this is maybe a quart in here, I'm putting like a quarter cup of this Epsom salt. That way it's not too strong. I've already mixed up one. And I just, just doing this just to show you how it's done. It's not rocket science. And like I say, if you're gonna do this, you might consider warming up the water in the coffee pot. But uh, that Epsom salt mixes in there very easy. So anyway, that's like step number one. Mix your Epsom salt up. Well, here you see uh, what sulfation looks like. That's that little crusty stuff uh, between the plates. And uh, the Epsom salt and water solution, what it does, it kind of helps soften that. That stuff, it gets real hard and it keeps that plate from uh, generating any electricity because the acid can't get to it. So what you're doing in effect is you're softening uh, that sulfation or that corrosion and uh, then I'll show you what the next trick is that you try on the uh, battery. Well the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start charging it but you're not charging it at like a little trickle charge or anything like that. Uh, you're putting it with a pretty high amp flow and uh, Here's my charger. I'll show you what I got it set at. What I'm doing is that I have this battery charger set at like uh, 175 amps. And uh, it's hitting that battery pretty hard. And what it's doing, it's boiling that battery. And as uh, that solution softens that corrosion uh, or that sulfation, it enables that plate to be exposed to the acid again. And I forget the exact ratio. It seems like uh, the acid water solution in a battery is like 35% acid and 65% water. Uh, it, something in that vicinity. So I know there's a lot of really smart battery people out there and I'm sure they can offer some information on that but it's in the ballpark it's something like that um, but any anyway, anyway uh, what I'm doing I'm hitting it with real high amps and I'm trying to pop that corrosion off those plates 
Well, this takes a little time to do. If you have time, uh, I would advise trying it. Uh, it can end up saving you a lot of money. Because some of these real golf cart batteries, they're well over $100 a piece. So this battery was uh, just dead as a doornail. You put like a 10 amp charge on it and it wouldn't do anything. After going through this process, I brought it back up. That's a full charge. It's showing on the good right there. And also, I'm putting a load on it. Of course, this, this is not a real heavy load, but it's pretty much your standard little battery tester. But anyway, it's brought this battery back, so that right there saved me 100 bucks. I pretty much... I've got three batteries that I've brought back so far, uh, and I'm going to try all six. One of them's failed. It was a hard fail, so uh, I, I'll, I know I'll have to buy one battery. Well, hey guys, what do you think about that? I, right now I'm having moderate success, and once I do get some batteries that I can bring back, what I'm going to do is charge them uh, the conventional method with, you know, like 10 amps, 5, 10 amps, something like that. Get them up to a state of full charge. Going to check the gravity of the battery. And in general, a good battery is like 1250, 1280 gravity. So if I'm in that ballpark, just anywhere in that range, uh, I'm going to call it a success. And uh, that way I don't have to buy a replacement battery. They say that you can do this process like up to five times. Now, I've never done it more than, than once. I don't know for sure if you have to add more Epsom salt in it. I, I would say probably not. Once that's in there, it ought to be in there. And uh, all you would need to do is just top it off with distilled water. Uh, a big issue with batteries is don't let them go dry. A dry battery will die on you quicker than anything. So let's see how this goes. I'll be sure and do you an update a little later on uh, the success of this project or a fail. So anyway, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glovebox and I'm out of here. <laughs>